Okay, now let's look at the conformation of ethane. All right, we've seen the diagram. Now let's look at the simulation of it. Now this is an ethane molecule, a carbon, three C carbon, uh, three hydrogens, and then your carbon with three hydrogens. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just rotate this molecule, yeah, and overlap the two carbons. This is the Newman projection, right? And see how nicely the hydrogens are spaced, yeah. And so this is the first carbon. We usually show that as a as a dot, and the second carbon we show as a big circle, right? Uh, because it is hiding behind the first carbon. And so each of this carbon has three hydrogens. And the dihedral angle, which is this angle, right, between the two consecutive hydrogens, um, is 60 degree. This is a staggered conformation of ethane. Now let's look at an eclipse conformation of ethane. Yeah, this is the same molecule, looks exactly the same. And just rotate it, and then you see that um, it's an eclipse conformation. Now, so this is a staggered conformation and all we did is we took this carbon carbon single bond and rotated it by 180 degrees you can actually rotate it by 60 degree and you'll still get one uh, you know still get um, eclipse conformation but you know for all practical purposes just sticking with 180 degree rotation because we're going to keep that consistent uh, for now so we rotate it by 180 degrees so this carb hydrogen will be here and so all the hydrogens will then overlap in this particular manner you got an eclipse confirmation of ethane and this is the space filling model of ethane yeah and, and this is clearly this is eclipse confirmation and this is how ethane molecules you know if you could see it it would probably look like this the two hydrogens you know the hydrogens are overlapping eclipsing and this is not good you can see that they are almost invading into each other space um, almost it's not clearly but you know almost so this is obviously much um, less stable than staggered confirmation okay so let's see the space filling model of staggered okay so this is a space filling model of staggered confirmation you can see it looks nice there is much space between the hydrogens and so obviously this is more stable conformation okay now if you add more hydrogens you know let's say to ethane you're gonna get um, propane and butane so let's look at butane conformation so this is a butane CH3 CH2 CH2 CH3 okay now in general we draw butane as a straight molecule CH3 CH2 in their order but is it actually straight no it's a zigzag molecule it looks like that and we had discussed it before so this is carbon one two three and four now if you if you know obviously all this single bonds can have a free rotation that's given but you know if you rotate it around first carbon carbon single bond well nothing really nothing interesting really happens uh, same thing with three and four nothing interesting really happen if you rotate around that carbon carbon single bond but if you rotate around this carbon carbon single bond between carbon two and three something interesting happens okay so first we're gonna see the confirmation and then we'll see which confirmation is this so if you rotate it so I'm gonna rotate it um, and if you see this all right you can see that the carbon um, if you overlap carbon 2 and 3 you're gonna get this confirmation you have a methyl group on on the top another methyl group at the bottom and they are exactly opposite end of each other all right then um, if you look at the dihedral bond angles yeah all these dihedral bond angles are again 60 degree which is quite nice okay so immediately we can think of this this confirmation being stable all right in fact this is the most stable confirmation of butane uh, we can't make anything more stable than this this is the most stable um, another interesting thing is that the dihedral angle between the two methyl groups okay so if you take the dihedral angle between the two methyl groups 
it is exactly 180 degree and that is the maximum dihedral angle that methyl groups can have now if you look at um, this molecule from a different end yeah so if you just overlap carbon 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 this is what you get again you can see that everything is nice and staggered okay all the bond angles are 60 degrees okay dihedral bond angles or dihedral angle is 60 degree for in every single case this is quite nice you know and so because of that this confirmation is extremely stable this is the most stable confirmation of butane and butane for that matter now we're gonna see an eclipse confirmation of it so what we do is basically we take this um, carbon 2 and 3 and ro ro rotate around this two carbon as I said carbon you can rotate around this or this but nothing really interesting happens but if you rotate around this carbon 2 and 3 you get an eclipse confirmation so this is what you get you know essentially what we did is we pulled that methyl group up then you rotate it around this so this entire thing came over here and that's what we got um, and if you rotate this according to Newman projection if you rotate this around like this you can see that the two methyl groups are actually um, overlapping okay the hydrogens are overlapping so the dihedral angle between the two hydrogens is zero the dihedral angle between the two methyl groups is also zero this is a fully eclipse confirmation alright and this is very less stable because these two methyl groups are encroaching each, each other space now this is not just hydrogen that are coming there's a methyl groups there's a big okay and the larger the group more steric hindrance is there now let's look at uh, a space filling model of this molecule and we'll understand this better okay so this is the space filling model of butane right and it's very difficult to identify these are the two carbons we're talking about c2 and c3 this is c1 this is C2, this is C3, and this is C4. And you can see that these two hydrogens are bumping into each other. And because, not hydrogen, the methyl groups, right? These methyl groups are actually bumping into each other. And that makes this eclipse confirmation much less stable, especially as compared to staggered confirmation. Um, so what that means is that when you, when you, talk about uh, confirmations most of the butane molecule will be in this confirmation will be in staggered confirmation okay very few will be in eclipse confirmation at any given time and then there is this third confirmation that is called Gaucher confirmation unfortunately um, its simulation is not available but I can show you the diagram later on in the notes and the third confirmation is slightly more stable than um, eclipse confirmation but less stable than this staggered confirmation okay in fact Gaucher is also a type of staggered confirmation it's a different type of staggered confirmation this is called as anti staggered confirmation because the two methyl groups are anti to each other they're opposite to each other and therefore this is called as anti staggered confirmation okay so that is these are the confirmations of ethane and butane